What's going on my people? This is your boy Rome 300. I'm back again. Welcome to He Smells Like Rome. Yes, you guys saw the title, but y'all might be a little confused with what I'm talking about. Alright, we're close to the holiday season. We write smack dab in November. And it's nice and cool and crisp outside. And I know people are either Christmas shopping now or putting their Christmas list out there. So I wanted to give you guys my top 10 fragrances that I want for Christmas. Now, I know y'all probably like, yo, Rome, what are you talking about? 10 fragrances for Christmas, that's crazy. Yes, it is. Obviously, I'm not gonna buy 10 fragrances, but I might get maybe three to five of these. Now, I'm, I'm considering all of them, but three to five of them, I'm hoping that I can grab and put in my collection. But the rest, I got all next year to get, God willing. Um, but, I wanted to show y'all some fragrances too. Maybe y'all can pick these up, check them out for yourselves. You know what I'm saying? Because these are some bangers. These and and, and how I do it. I, for those who have just joined this channel, I try to talk about some of the most exclusive fragrances, some of the most dopest niche fragrances in the game. And what I am going to do is I'm going to put you on to the fragrances that most likely no one is talking about. All right now. There are some fragrances that are popular that most niche heads know, but I try my best to do my research. So I, I got you guys. With that said, please do me a favor. If you like the content that you see, hit that thumbs up, like the video, please. Um, send me a message, let me know what you liked about the video. Also hit that bell icon so you can get more of my content right to you as soon as I shoot a video. I would truly appreciate your help. Thank you to all the people that have been, you know, following me for the last almost eight years. I truly appreciate that. But I, I need to, you know, I want you guys to get more content, you know. Also, do me a favor. Check out my Instagram page. He smells like Rome. Um, I post a lot of stuff on there that I don't put on here. Plus, I do um, some comedy skits that correlate with fragrances. I'm going to do a lot more. But I want you guys to see some stuff there, so go check out that channel. Also, support, I appreciate you guys. All right, so let's get back to the, you know, the video. Let me take a sip of my tea real quick, and then we can get started. Mm-hmm. Yes, I do love tea. I drink tea all year round. All right, so at number 10, we're gonna talk about one of the fragrant houses that I'm starting to get a little bit more acclimated with. I've known them for years, since like 2009, but I haven't really dived into their fragrances until recently. Um, that fragrance house is by Killian, and the fragrance I'm talking about is Single Malt. Single Malt is an amazing, boozy um, whiskey fragrance. If you love whiskey, if you like that aged whiskey with caramel sweetness, with soft spices and a woody background, this is going to be one of those fragrances you gotta get. I I truly love this. This is, in my opinion, it has that oak barrel, but it also has like a bourbon kind of sweetness with caramel and like dry fruits in there too, but this fragrance is so addictive. You have to like whiskey though. If you don't like whiskey, you're not gonna like this, but I gotta get this in my fragrance collection. Um, I found a place in London that might be carrying it, so I'm gonna check them out. Cause it is, I think it's either London or Paris, Paris exclusive, I can't remember. But that is at number 10. All right, let's go on to number nine. Number nine is a fragrance I got from Os Osman or Os Perfumery. I can't remember, I'll put the name up there. Um, I reached out to the owner, uh, bought some samples from him. He sent me uh, marshmallow. Tango. Now, Mass Milano Tango, I knew about a few years back because my favorite perfumer is the one that made the fragrance, uh, Cecile Sorokia. So, I knew about it, but I never smelled it. I don't know why I never tried this fragrance out. This thing is amazing. This is like tang and boozy and spicy, but the citrusy tangy note that hits you in the opening at the same time with that spicy booziness is out of this world. I, I, I know it was because it was an 100 mil and they changed to like a 30 mil 
bottle, but I gotta get this, man. This is, this is, woo, this is banging. This is really, really, really good. I said banger. What year am I in? 1999? This is banging. <laughs> Alright, so, um, I gotta get this. It's a little high on my list because I, I'm still kind of, you know, playing with it, seeing how long it lasts. Right now, this thing is last at least, it's, it's borderline 10, 11 hours in like two, three sprays. This is really good. It's strong. So, on my Christmas list, at number nine. At number eight, we're gonna go to this fragrance from one of my favorite fragrance houses, Effinescence. I picked all the Effinescence fragrance that I immediately won. I knew I wanted these fragrances first. Those are the ones that are up there. Um, but Sandalwood has always been one of my favorite notes. And I gotta get this fragrance from Effinescence. This is Sandalwood Basmati or Sandal Basmati. It is, and I know if you guys are uh, familiar with Sandalwood, Sandalwood has this milky creaminess, a woody undertone, but it's super comfortable. This is a dope fragrance. This is definitely a fragrance that I plan on purchasing, hopefully for Christmas or early next year. But Satal or Santal Basmati from Evanescence, wonderful fragrance and it doesn't only come in 100 mil anymore that's like 375 they just released all their fragrances in 50 mil just without the extravagant presentation you just get the bottle and it's like 175 so you can't beat that so i might do that for this one and that one is at number eight all right let's move on right along at number seven I did a first impression video years ago and then I did a new first impression video for this company because they just revamped their line. That is Electimus. Electimus, um, you guys know they, they have kind of hit the niche uh, fragrance game by storm. They just came out of nowhere with this crazy, amazing presentation. If you haven't, I put a you know, picture up there so you can see the presentation, but the presentation is jaw dropping the fragrances some of them are still from the old uh, collection but they came out with some new ones and one of the newer ones is Capua Capua is to me one of the best this fragrance has a coffee spicy mixture that smells like, and I know it doesn't sound good, but trust me, it smells good. It smells like burnt coffee grinds, burnt cocoa, saffron, with smoky woods. Now, I know that the notes have more involved in it, but when I tell you that's what it smells like to me, and I'm not talking about burnt coffee where it's just, it's like, the, you don't put the creamer in it and has this milkiness to it but the spices that come along with that cocoa burnt coffee smell ah this is so goddamn good this might move up I don't know this might have to move up in the list I need this fragrance this is this is really good and number seven uh, a great winter Christmas fragrance if y'all need something um, a little expensive though, but it's worth it. The presentation, the smell is great. That's at number seven. At number six, at number six, where is number six at? Oh, number six is from one of the fragrance houses that I've talked about at least three years ago. I don't know why I don't have a fragrance from their house yet, but I plan on, I'm hitting that fragrance house so hard this year and next year. I'm probably gonna focus on their fragrances the most, and that fragrance house is the Spirit of Dubai. And the fragrance I'm talking about now is called Taraj. Now I don't have a sample of that fragrance, I'll put a picture up there. But Taraj is, if you like, like piped, smoky, uh, what do you call it, uh, um, hookahs. If you like that, that uh, fruity hookah smell, 
with the smoke and the incense. If you like those darker Middle Eastern fragrances, um, if you like black and mal smell, like that tobacco kind of smell, you're gonna love this. I need to get this fragrance in my collection ASAP. That is an amazing fragrance. The bottles are just bananas. Y'all, man, a lot of people are focusing on, um, what is it called? Uh, uh, fragrance Dubois, which you should. Their fragrances are great. But I, I'm telling you, go check out Spirit of Dubai. In my opinion, they are just as good in quality and they have three oud fragrances in their collection that are better than most of the oud fragrances in that collection in my opinion but that's just me but um trust me if you like my taste and your taste is similar to mine go check that out but uh Taraj is definitely one i'm gonna pick up uh, that is very close to being one of the fragrances that i really really want for christmas another thing i want to tell you guys my birthday is right around Christmas also. So now that I'm you know, an adult, I can kind of splurge and get some for Christmas and cheat a little bit and I can also get some for uh, my birthday and Christmas, you know? But when I was a kid, you know, if, you, if your birthday around Christmas time, you're a kid, man, you get gypped. You got people like, oh, hey, happy birthday. Merry Christmas is one present. You be like, what the hell? I, I hated that. I used to do that all the time. And I was a middle child too, so I really got jerked, man. But now the most I can do, I can buy what I want, you know? But, all right, let me stop rambling, rambling um, and go back to what I was talking about. All right, so that was at, um, that was number six, right? Yes, that was 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Yes, so now we at number five. And number five, hold up, fucking number five, let me get a sip of my tea, give me a second. Um, okay, so let me let me explain this fragrance. This fragrance is very dear to my heart. It is it's, it's very important to me for a few reasons. Number one, I wanted to support a fellow fragrance reviewer, a perfumer, and an overall good guy. And that person is Mr. Oz. He came out with a fragrance company called Motifo Factor. I want to support his brand. I want to support a black owned business. Not only because he's black, you don't want to get that twisted. It's because he is one of the few that come that are coming out with fragrances that is the actual perfume. And if you don't know Mr. Oz, I urge you to go check out his channel. It's not glitz and glam and a whole bunch of fireworks and you know editing props and none of that. It is pure knowledge. This man is literally the smartest person I've ever met when it comes to fragrances. The only person that's close to him in how they dissect and, and educate you on fragrances and note breakdown, I would say is Red Alessi. They're right neck to neck. I would lean a little bit more towards um, Mr. Oz, but if you think that you are not getting all the information from any perfumer, this guy right here, Mr. Oz, is dope. The next reason I want this fragrance, the final reason is because this is what I imagine Africa smell like. This is what I imagine if I went to Africa and wanted to stay at a, a luxury resort, and you know how you walk into the lobby and then you get this gorgeous aroma from whatever the the mist uh, perfume that sprang from the automatic sprays in the hotel or when you go into your room they probably sprayed your seat, your sheets with some amazing expensive fragrance or, or, or fabric softener this is what I would expect if I went there and I told him I said I was supposed to get it last year but I was too late they sold out in like days but I told him I said when this comes back and in, 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 uh, stock I'm getting it. I probably have it already. I'm, I mean, this video is probably coming out after I already purchased it, but this is a fragrance that I'm getting. Definitely one for my birthday. And that is, I didn't say the name, damn. I just told y'all. The fragrance is called uh, Ditama uh, Zoma. 
I'm putting name up there. All right, fuck that all the way up. Look. I don't have any words for it. It's just, get a sample. Trust me, get a sample of this. And you won't regret it. All right, so that is at number five. And number four, it is from one of my favorite fragrance houses. I've been a fan of fragrance houses since like 2012. And that is Oman Jane, and this fragrance is Taif Elixir. Taif Elixir is my second favorite rose fragrance that I have ever smelled. There's only one, and that fragrance is like $1,700. I can't afford that right now. But this fragrance right here, the Taif Rose, if you don't know, Taif Rose is one of the more sought out, expensive rose that you can ever get. But this has a jamminess to it. Now, there's the Taif fragrance that Oman Jane has. She has two other ones, Intensivo and, and, and um, Taif, the original. But the Elixir concentrates more of blending that Taif Rose with an oud. And that's what makes this fragrance stand out much more because it's stronger, it's an extract um, perfume. And the jamminess, the sweetness from the rose, the floral notes from the rose, combined with that, you know, oud, wood, Middle Eastern smell, more of an Indian oud in my opinion. But, mm, decadent, delicious, beautiful rose fragrance. Check it out, guys. I'm telling y'all, y'all will not be disappointed. Ladies, check it out. You will not be disappointed with this one. Guarantee you. That is at number four. And number three, you know how you go into your, your, your fragrance list of you know, sample box and you're like, well, I'm gonna try to see some fragrances. I wish I didn't do that because I found a fragrance that I knew about maybe, I see maybe five years ago and I forgot about it and now I smell it again and I need this in my life, like right now, like right, right now. This is from Robert Piguet. This is The Intense. Robert Piguet, The Intense. When I tell you a perfect blend of notes Hands down, point blank, period, that is this fragrance. You know, some people say, oh, it's blended so well that you can't tell where the notes are and you don't know where anything is. I don't agree with that. I think when it's blended superbly, when it's blended perfectly, you can smell the notes, each individual note, but they're basically trailing each other like a railroad car on a train like every car you just walk into it as a different atmosphere but you still bring a little bit of that last one with you that's a perfectly blended fragrance i don't want to smell a fragrance and i say oh it's supposed to have rose in it and it's supposed to have saffron and it's supposed to have ylang-ylang but i only really get the ylang-ylang i don't really get the rose that much no that's not perfectly blended it has to have everyone, and you have to smell it. And then it has to come do a whole 180 and come back to the beginning and do it again. That's how it smells. That's how perfectly blended. And this does that. The saffron in this, the the incense in this, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, floral notes in this are beautiful, beautiful. And I, this is a unisex fragrance, the unisex fragrance, but I, I would tell you, men, don't be afraid of this. I'm telling y'all, man, this shit is so good. You will not regret it if you put this on. With a suit, kill the game with this, man. I'm getting this. I got to get this. This is an absolute favorite of mine, and I'm glad I went back to my sample pack and grabbed this one up. So, that's it, number three. At number two, and it's, either one of these could be number one, number two, but I have to be honest on which one I want for Christmas. Um, but number two is something I've wanted for probably three years. I just, I keep pushing it to the side. And it's stupid reason. It's, it's a stupid reason why I push it to the side because it's, categorizes a woman fragrance and the bottle is a woman it has a woman design but 
it's a wonderful fragrance. This fragrance is from uh, MDCI, and the fragrance, I'm gonna butcher the name, Les Indes Galant. Now, when I buy a fragrance, I want the full presentation. I don't want to, sh you know, short myself and say, I'll just get the bottle and don't get the packaging. I want everything, right? So, they have this fragrance for 250 bucks, but they also have it for 300, I think 375, 350, something like that, with the bus, right? And I want the bus, but it's a woman bus, right? And I really don't care about that, but something in the back of my head keeps saying, oh, you're gonna have the fragrance up there, it's gonna look weird because it's a woman's fragrance. I don't care. This fragrance is the epitome of Christmas. This is Christmas in a bottle. I would dare to say this is Thanksgiving and Christmas in a bottle because the foodie aspect of this, this is just a gourmand lover's dream. This has, yeah, I'm, the, the notes are kind of escaping me right now. Once, this, this is made by Cecile Zerokian. This has nutmeg, this has cinnamon, this has vanilla, this has melted caramel, this has, I don't, I don't think it has any oud in it, but it smells like it do. I know it doesn't have oud in it, but it's edible. This smells like a, what do you call it, one of them rum cakes. If you had a rum cake and then you poured white chocolate and then poured caramel on top of the right cho white chocolate, that's what it smells like. I need this. I need it in my life. I need it. But it's hard to find this fragrance because MDCI is in, sold in a lot of boutiques. And the one I purchased, I purchased from their website. I had it shipped to me. So we'll see. We'll see what I do with this. Maybe I'll get the fragrance and then get the bus later, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get the whole presentation. Ah, oh, guys, check this one out. Christmas about don't care about that. It's in the women's section or it's listed as a feminine fragrance. Nah, it is a gourmand lover. It's sweet, it's fruity, it's like a, a dessert cake like with a booziness, a rum cake like with caramel. Definitely check this one out. And number two. All right, my number one Christmas fragrance that I want in my collection, number one, it is, and I have to be transparent and also honest, right? This is a really, really expensive fragrance. This fragrance is from Spirit of Dubai, and this one is called Majetis. Now, let me show you, give me a second, ah! Uh, uh, I'm gonna show you this is what it looks like sample wise and it comes in this nice little presentation gives you a little bit of information this is what the bottle actually looks like but I've wanted this fragrance for three years but I just couldn't pull the trigger because it's like 500 and something odd dollars for the 50 mil like 700 and something dollars for the 100 mil but at this point right now I'm like forget it I need it I need this in my life. One, because I want to collect the whole line. I want to get, not the whole line, the majority line. But, I have to start somewhere. Now let the, that's just me being transparent, telling you guys this is an expensive fragrance. Being honest, the Tarage and this are kind of neck and neck at number one. I just couldn't put that at number one because it's not, the most desirable. If I have the money, I'm gonna get this one. If I can't afford that, because Taraj is uh, $330 and then $425, it's $330 for the 50 mil, $425 for the 100 mil. So it's extremely cheaper, much more affordable. Um, but when we come back to this one, dates. Ooh. This has a basically a novel of notes. The note breakdown and lists 
is the equivalent or even more than what Roger Dell posts on his website. And you know his shit be crazy, like like 45 different notes. This is the same, I can't even list all the notes. I just know that it has caramel, it has dates, it has fruit, it has food, it has um, cashmere, I know it has oak moss. It, it's a bunch of notes in here, but I can tell you it's dark, it's resinous, it's super spicy. It's fruity with the dry fruits, but this overwhelmingly dark, mysterious, plum date note in here is so intoxicating that I feel like I'm going to have vibes remorse if I get anything else other than this. But However, it's what my pockets can do. If I can afford it, I'm gonna grab it. But if I can't, the runner up will be Taraj. So, there we go. That is my top 10 Christmas fragrances that I want. And I hope that you guys can check out and purchase if you have the money to. Um, I guess I can say something for my birthday too. So, Christmas birthday. But that's, that's, I'm being honest with you guys. I, I know that these fragrances are expensive. I know that not everybody can afford them. I can't afford all of them, to be honest. I can only, I probably will get maybe two to three. But it's there for you guys to check out. Sample them if you want. I'll put the links down below where you can purchase each fragrance. Um, and let me know, you know, if you might have any of these fragrances, you can tell me, no, don't get that. It doesn't perform well, or yes, grab that, whatever. Just let me know. I, I love the conversation and to see what you guys think about my uh, Christmas list. With that said, guys, I hope you have uh, an amazing Thanksgiving. I hope you guys have an even better Christmas and stay safe with your families and friends and um, just keep praying and keep loving your heart and uh, 2021 going to be this an amazing year, all right? So, till next time, like I always say, it's okay if you want to smell like wrong. I'll check you guys out in the next video. Until then, hey.